Thursday guys, cheers. There we go. That was a uh, quick uh, piece of kit I put down a couple of days ago. Smells coming out of that thing up. Fantastic. Fruity, piney. I think I waked in uh, Citra, Citra and Mosaic put a headline around so uh, that's come along nicely by the time I open that, that uh, fridge just makes you in the face um, I think I've got the place myself thought I'd do a, another beer review. Uh, I hadn't done one for a while so I sort of had a look around the supermarket and picked up what looked like a really nice uh, fruity IPA from um, a brewery here in New Zealand that's um, doing leaps and bounds from what I hear. one I've never tried before, it's the Liberty Tropical Illusion Double IPA Not just a single IPA, but a double IPA Interesting these ones because you've got a little Auckland, New Zealand, 8% well, better watch this because I've got to pick out the daughter from the first day, so first day at school. Don't believe your eyes, your tongue won't even. Ooh, I love these little spills that they put on the cans and that. A skillful combination of the most delicate pills and malt with fragrance that is a kiwi hop. Now, without further ado, let's crack in. This will be sitting in the fridge for six weeks. I've been dying to crack into this one. Actually, I'm going to get my new. Spiegelau. I'd rather have Spiegelau glasses somewhere, but I misplaced it. Never mind. A nice aggressive pour. Glass has been sitting in the freezer for about uh, two days. I'm going to go all in. Not quite. I can smell pineapple from here. Colour. Can't really see through that. A bit of light shining through it, but you cannot see through that. It's pretty opaque. Not quite here. Yeah, I, uh, pineapple really comes through in this. Dank, piney. Smells incredible. Oh. Cheers. And it follows through too. <coughs> follows through nicely. It's 
really crisp. It might be the fact that it's been in the fridge for six weeks, but it's like when I was a kid, there was drinks that we used to drink as kids. It was in a purple can. It was passion fruit, passion fruit pineapple mix. That's what it tastes like in a beer. Very fruit salad. Very hot forward. So yeah, my next big brew will be the all grain on Friday if I can get the little washer for the mash tun. If I can't, I'll just do brew in the bag. Uh, it's all good. Either way, it's pretty good. I get good efficiency with both. So. Looking forward to that. Uh, payday is tomorrow, so I might pick up a bit of New Zealand Cascade. It's the only hop I'm making. Uh, it calls for um, I'll post the recipe down below. I might take a bit of footage of Brudo. Get the place myself, so I'll be just be able to take my time and uh, make as much mess as I want. Not really. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely be buying this again. Um, I bought one of these at the warehouse, it's 20 litre, just a camping jury can, 20 litre, um, although I want a keg, uh, finances are a bit stretched at the moment, so it's going to be a while since I'm be able to afford that, so I'm trying to think of a way to <coughs> turn it into a pressure barrel of sorts. Any ideas? Let me know. I'll just pop a pop an attachment on here, and might be able to uh, carve it up with an old soda, soda stream bottle. It's still a work in progress. Happy Thursday, Thursday guys. Thanks for watching. Bring your best beer. Cheers. <laughs>